Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class University and the Flats Class YouTube channel. Today, I want to share with you a little trick on how you can make a classic mirror lure bait like the 5M into a true big trout killer. Stay tuned. All right, so what are we gonna have to do to this old classic bait to make it a true trout killer, especially for those of you fishing maybe pressured waters? Well, you'll notice there's a prop on the front, there's a prop on the back, and there's three sets of trebles on this. Well, we're gonna have to do a few modifications. And the first thing we're gonna do is go right here to the workbench and show you what I have in mind. All right, step one is I want to remove the front prop. I don't need two props, I only want one. The idea that I'm trying to create is I want to make this bait kind of tail heavy, if you will. So I'm gonna take some weight off the front. So let me back this off with my screwdriver. So now the front prop is completely off. Now the next step is I need to remove that hook. All right, so we've removed the front prop. Now let's move to the center treble here and take that off. So we're gonna, we're gonna back that off here with this need a straight slot screwdriver for these old baits. They got these antique style um, hook hangers that are a little bit tough to deal with. I wish they were tr uh, Phillips heads so they'd be easier to back out, but they're not. They're straight slots, so you gotta really pay attention. So I wanna put the hook hanger back in. I don't wanna take that off because I'm going to try to make it still look like a finished plug. And then you just screw that all the way in. So now we've removed the prop and we've removed the belly hook. Next, it's going to get a little bit more complicated because we've got to fix the back end here to make it a little easier for me to have a larger hook for weight. So that's gonna be the next step. All right, so what I've done is I backed off the treble hook and I removed the prop, but I'm gonna put the prop back on. I just need to get this hook off so that I can put a larger hook on. Because what I'm trying to do is add weight to the back of the plug so I can change its floating attitude to tail down, head up. So the way you get rid of that is you don't want to cut the screw attachment. You just want to cut this hook off. So I pull the big pair of clines out of my boat. And that way I can get rid of that old hook. And I can screw this back on. Now you might say, well, how are you going to get a hook back on there. Now I'm going to show you. It's not going to be that hard. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of split ring pliers and I'm going to add a split ring as you can see there and then I can take this larger hook which is significantly larger than those I actually took this off a 27 MR um, mirrodine plug it's a little bit larger bait and then I'm going to add this to my prop bait a pair of 
our split ring pliers here. And now you can see that I've got a smaller hook up forward, so this is going to tilt down this way. I've got a heavier hook in the back. And now you can adjust these fins where you can push them so they're more straight up and down so it's louder. Or if you want to, you can make it so that they're thinner. Either one. All right, let's review the modifications that we made. We took the front prop off. We took the middle hook out. Now what that did was it lightened the front of the bait up and now it's gonna lay in the water like this. It's a floater, this is a floater, this is a slurp bait. We went one size up on the rear treble and added that heavy duty split ring. That definitely gives it that attitude. Now when you fish this bait, it's gonna slurp very loud through the water. So it's slurp, slurp, stop. Slurp, slurp, stop. If you're getting into a real shallow zone, you may just wanna reel it slowly and then little subtle slurps and then reel it slowly. But it drives fish crazy, especially trout, but you'll catch snook too. And you'll catch them, I typically throw this in two and a half to five feet of water with a lot of success. Now, you can take your pliers and you can bend these fins up so that they're louder, or you can pinch them down so that they're more of a V and they're a little more subtle. So there's a little tuning that you can do to this bait. But this is an old classic bait that a buddy named Larry Mastry turned me on to when I was in my 20s. And I caught so many trout on this. If you're fishing with someone who's not really a top water savvy angler, they can't get the walk the dog thing down, this bait will solve the problem. They'll still catch them on top. And the explosions, even when redfish come up behind it, are amazing. Hey, I hope this little tip, or what you all now call tackle hack, really puts more fish in your boat this winter season. If you like what you see here at Flats Class YouTube and Flats Class University, give us a thumbs up here. We, we need subscribers. We want you to share this stuff with everyone. And we'll put all the tech, you know, all the technical stuff, all the equipment that we're using right down here in the description. Thank you, everybody. Captain CA, checking out.